Hey everyone, how's it going? Like Butter here, and welcome to part two or episode two of Welcome to My Home, where I show my progress um, on what I've been doing over here on one of my friends' worlds. So, last episode, I showed you the newly made house and I showed you the hot tub, but I have a lot of new things to show you guys today. So, some of this stuff isn't finished, but then again, this is a progression video, so I'm going to show you what's not finished, I'm going to tell you my ideas, and like I always say, your opinions matter, so make sure to put your comments in the comment section below on what you think, or if you want to see anything changed, or added, or whatever you may think. So, okay, first of all, here is my uh, house. I will go through the house in a moment to show you what I changed in there. But first of all, um, I don't know in my if... In my last episode I had this huge path but I know that the torches on the side are new it's good because it lights it up it's easier to see you don't really get lost out here and seeing that I did build my house in the swampy biome or the swampy area of this biome um, sometimes you can get lost out here and a lot of monsters and, and mobs spawn out here so this makes it a little bit easier on myself and I just recently built this here today because somebody was suggesting that I should make a farm and I was noticing that I was running low on food so I was like yeah it would make sense to make a farm instead of having to run way over there to my friend's house you can see it way in the distance um, to get food every time or to use her farm so what I did is I built like this little uh, this little tunnel here and I put torches along the way and it set on the sign back here to Drew's farm so this is obviously a work in progress I just put this in today and I just finished landscaping this entire area this area was uneven it was there was dirt there was cobble there was everything and I just destroyed everything and flattened it out so that I can put a huge farm here and you know breed cows and stuff and I'll have all the food and all the leather that I could possibly want so that's what's gonna go there um, I didn't show you this last time, which I want to show you because it's kind of funny. Uh, because I feel like my subscribers deserve to know about this if uh, I ever open this. You know, I, I was thinking about possibly opening this server to the public after you know everything is uh, everything's done and saved, and it'll be cool because people can go around. But if you ever come down here, don't do it. <laughs> uh, there's some stuff in here, but uh, it says chest room. You open the door and there's pressure plates here and boom, lava. So do not go down here. There's nothing even in that chest. Oh no. Oh my god, I thought I was going to be locked in there. Uh, so yeah, don't go down there. Uh, somebody on my server made like a trap. They <laughs> He told us about it and stuff, so I wasn't too worried. Uh-oh, this is not good. How are we going to get out of here? Oh god, I better put that back before it messes up the... Okay. See, I think last time I did that, um, it messed up the thing that opens it. I think it's called a piston or something. I don't know. I have no idea about that stuff. But um, I have kind of a little area over here where I started growing wheat because I was going to start the farm. And uh, you need wheat to breed the cows. But I have sugar cane over on the water here because I need it to build my enchantment room, which is what I'll go show you guys next. So... I realized that I didn't have an enchantment room in my house and I was like huh well you know I've been getting a lot of levels lately I've been you know I got a lot of uh, enchantments on my weapons but instead of having to run all the way back there uh, why not just make something here so as we're going down I'll try to stop so you can see I have glass over the sides I'm sorry if I'm making you seasick right now uh, but with uh, I think it's nether nether rock burning it, it's whatever the rock from the nether world it burns forever so it's uh looks pretty cool it lights it up and this is a work in progress in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to have uh bookshelves filling here and then i'm going to put an enchantment table right in the middle but the problem is is that the the uh, sugar cane grows extremely slow and you need a lot of sugar cane to make books and a lot of books to make bookshelves so once this is filled in it will look pretty neat i'm going to put like an anvil over here for fixing uh, for fixing weapons and stuff so it just says enchantment room this entire basement was built the other day um, so all of this you know siding all the stone had to be handmade 
and I think it came out pretty decent. I'm gonna fill this in here. Maybe I'll have like a little entertainment area over here. But uh, in here, this is strictly business. Strictly enchantments. Nah, I'm just kidding. But anyways, I think it looks pretty neat. And uh, I had some suggestions to make a basement. So that's what I did. I I've been taking a lot of the suggestions into consideration. And the second suggestion was to make a pool. And at first, I wanted to make the pool back here to kind of just, you know, make it look cool with glass and you could see into the water. But that's not what we did. We ended up doing something a little different, which I like a little more. So come out here on the nice little pathway. Cool little bridge here going over the water. And welcome to the pool house. Now, this isn't completely done yet, but I'm very, very happy with how this came out. I didn't even build the majority of this. Girl Poison did. So I'm not going to take, you know, credit for something I didn't do. But I did help a little bit with, like, the chairs and, and the idea. But she did the entire pool. Like, look at this thing. This thing looks amazing. At nighttime, the glowstone actually lights up the pool. And it looks like a, you know, like a heated in-ground pool. It's, it's really sick. And it took a long time for us to level out the water to make it look, you know, uh, what is it, infinite water source, something like that, where it just the water just settles like that instead of it flowing everywhere. We got the chairs on the side. Uh, we got a, uh, a nice glass rooftop. Now, there's a few th ways we could do this. Uh, she was just going to build it into like a giant... Um, like a giant roof like the way that it's going but I think it would be pretty sweet if it just flattened out right there with like wood or something oh slime the slime's trying to come in and, and party um oh god good thing I'm in the shallow end uh oh, oh yeah so if you look in the pool you can see how there's three different um levels here with stairs going down it's awesome how that came out uh but i was thinking like maybe flatten that out and put glowstone on top to kind of light up the entire area i think that would be pretty sweet um but here's the wood entrance she decided to put like oak wood around it or whatever it is it, it, that looks so sweet the way that it, the outside is how it's like patterned like that. It's, I, I think it came out awesome. So if you have any ideas to add on to that, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, about finishing off the roof, that'd be pretty sweet. So that's uh, that's not it by far. There is a few other things I changed. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I might just go show you around a different area because I'm pretty sure my house inside, like you saw, is almost the same. Let me make sure nothing's nothing's changed here. Uh, yeah, this room's pretty much just the same. Slime! How? Little buddy, how the hell did you get in here? I don't understand. All right. So this room is pretty much the same. I might change something up, add a few additions to it or something like that. But uh, yeah, the rest is pretty similar. So now we're going to go carefully by getting this slime out of the way. I don't even feel like killing it right now. So I, I should probably I should probably farm these sugar canes while I can. I know they grow up to three, but I just want to get as many as possible. Let's see, get that. Oh wow, there's a lot here. I don't know. It, it's it was growing slow until right now, but okay, that's good. They'll be able to do at least like probably four or five uh, bookcases, if not more. Come here, spider. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm a little salty right now because I enchanted a new pickaxe and it wasn't that great. Let me look. Um, yeah, efficiency three, fortune two. Uh, Fortune 2 isn't that great. Efficiency, efficiency 3 is alright. But my other pickaxe uh, right here, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Fortune 2. Now that's pretty good, and uh, it, but it was costing 38 levels for me to fix it, and it wasn't even bringing it up all the way. It was bringing it up like 3 quarters, so I was like, screw it. Maybe I'll just take my chance and enchant a new diamond pickaxe, and it, it didn't work out this time, but I want to show you the downstairs oh god there's a creeper here the good thing about having knockback is that uh if a creeper comes near you and it's about to blow up you can just knock it back like that and it won't blow up so you just make sure there's not one coming behind me okay so that creeper's dead 
Let me get this. I'm gonna steal her sugar cane. She doesn't use it anyways. She doesn't mind. As long as I... She told me I can use her farm whenever uh, I want. As long as I put everything back. Like, I killed about 30 cows before and just rebred them. So, um, I wanted to show you down here. I didn't show you guys this in the first episode. Okay, so this is obviously, like... Oh my god, that's scary. A little trash can to throw your stuff in. So, let's see. If I don't want something, like... What do I have that's useless? I don't really need these spider eyes right now. So it'll go in there and it'll be gone so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, this is the nether portal which will bring you to the nether world. Um, I'll maybe do that in a different video. I don't want this to go too long. But this is the entrance to her mine uh, down there. I don't really have a mine. I just usually mine in hers and I mine at this other place. But I wanted to show you guys this which I thought was pretty neat. Okay. So I'll light it up for a second so you guys can see. What it is is there's a zombie spawner in there, which I'm pretty sure throughout the map there'll be random spots where there's a zombie spawner where it spawns zombies. So if you're smart enough, you can build things around them so that it can kind of be like a trap. So I'll, I'll show you. There's water in there that's basically flowing down into one. You can see them floating down into that one area. Now where it goes is I'm going to show you. So you basically stand here let all the zombies spawn uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just stand here and I'll, I'll go make food or I'll go do something else or like you know if I have to do something because then it'll, the zombies will be spawning right there while you're looking at it um, yeah I'm back to level one that sucks but I just enchanted something so uh, where they go is down here which I think is pretty cool I I'm sure to most Minecraft uh, players that have been playing for a long time this might not be that good but to me it's kind of awesome what it does is it makes it so that there's a block here and if you look the zombies can't hit me so I can literally just sit here and uh, they fall down the right amount of blocks so that they only have like half a heart left so you don't even have to waste your sword on them and you can just get a lot of XP like that so I thought that was pretty cool um, get a peek in here oh my god another zombie came down Okay, so if you get a peek in there, that's like another, that's like a, one of the old abandoned mines in there. We we usually go down there. That's attached to her mine. So I just thought I would show you guys that. Um, let's get up here. I, I didn't show you her enchantment room last time, which I'm gonna do right now, uh, because I think it's pretty cool the way it's set up. I I think I had a hard time finding it, but I know where it is now. It's right up here. So you go up here, and uh, this is her enchantment table, and that's not exactly how I'm going to have mine set up, but in a way, um, but it looks pretty cool, you know. Uh, she's got an anvil here. This is for fixing weapons. You put your weapon in here, and then you uh, you have to put whatever it's made out of there, and a lot of enchantment books, but uh, I, I noticed you have to be careful if you put like a really good enchantment on one of your weapons uh, it sucks because sometimes you can't repair them it'll say too expensive to repair so uh, that's pretty much it I think it looks pretty neat up here and my enchantment room will be done soon I'm gonna work on it a little bit after this video but I felt like uh, I didn't want people to think that I'm just gonna post one video of my progression and then not play anymore it's just I'm putting a lot of time into these videos and I want to make sure enough changes in one video where it's worth watching you know what i mean so uh thanks for checking it out if you have any suggestions make sure to drop them in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and i will talk to everyone next time bye